the fuck what are you doing? He's, they're here now. Okay. I'm just saying, let me the fuck in. What? I was just saying, let me Why the fuck in. Why are you in. late? You said six. What time is it? Hold and then you grabbers. purposely were, were you just, what, what am I grabbing? The top thing. That was, the, yeah. What's the top thing? Say a word. <laughs> Quit filming my face so close. <laughs> Quit filming. Focus. Focus. Hey. Water. Focus. Hey. Cool. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you either cleaned your floor or it's wet outside. It's it sun. was wet outside. I cleaned this floor, not that floor. Oh, because I'm squeaking. It was wet outside. All right. I, listen, I went and bought snacks and then it was pouring on me and then I sat in the car and I was getting wet and I was pissed off and then like I came inside and then I ran out and got the snacks that I bought like 10 minutes later. Okay. I got stuck at a gas station where there was a thousand people. You didn't need gas. You sent a picture. That you still had like a couple. Listen, but when I went up a hill, it was on E. Yeah, because it shifts to the E. Are we ready? Yeah, go. Alright, so we are doing sort of a impromptu movie nights. Typically we do these at Matt's house, but we had some special guests that wanted to come down and we figured we would throw one together. So this will technically be episode four, and then we'll continue with episode five with Matt's on my pick, even though the, I'm kind of getting two picks here, so... Cool. Yeah, you kind of just threw that on us too. Uh -huh. Like, what if we wanted to pick the movies? <laughs> yeah. You're like, it's either these ones, guys. <laughs> Did you have a theme? No, I was okay, just gonna pick. shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, joining us, obviously I'm JP, Carly's behind the camera, but joining us tonight is the Woodsboro Bros. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's up, guys? Austin. And Andrew. That's right. You don't even know their names. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys probably know them from the Facebook page, uh, 22 Shots of Moods and Horror, or the Woodsboro Bros podcast. You're also a host on Body Bags, correct? Right, Andrew. yeah. Andrew? Yep. He's, He's a guest host, too. Oh, uh, you're a guest host? Yeah. See? Look at this. Who are you? <laughs> so Body Bags is an interesting YouTube channel. I actually created that channel. I don't. I'm not a part of it anymore, mm -hmm. but... Me and Moods created it after we were part of another compilation review channel back in like 2012. And it was 2012, 2013, it was called um, The Fright Tube. And it ended badly, um, couldn't get along with the guy who ran it. And we created our own body bags back in 2013. Moods stayed there longer than any of the original members. And uh, now it's ran by Derek, D. Bouget 92 <laughs> And <laughs> um, so, yeah, so check that out. And what I really want to shout out is the Woodsboro Bros podcast because that's something that I really enjoy. And I know you checked it out as well. So when's episode three posting? I'm going to be editing it tomorrow, so I'll be, it'll probably be up within the next week. Okay, so it'll be out before you guys even see this video. So <laughs> go check it out. It's on horophilia.com, uh, which is where you can find the best podcasts in horror. Um, it's on horophilia.com. You can find 22 Shots there, Netflix and Chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all kind of other stuff. So, um... Tonight, I wanted to do a little theme. I don't have the most time in the world because i got to go to work. That's why I'm in work clothes, by the way. That's why I'm in work clothes, by the way. Come <laughs> You're fake. <laughs> and uh, I thought, I, could, I was trying to look at all my collection, like the new stuff that I got in. Because that's typically how I do it, is I, I usually want to watch stuff that I just got in the mail, stuff that I have to review uh, from companies and things like that. And it just so happened that three of the newest things I got were all part of one theme. Cool. And do you want to know what that theme is? What's that theme? The theme tonight is apartment horror. You guys familiar with apartment horror? I've only watched, well actually no, I've only seen one episode of A Haunting that has apartment horror. Okay. <laughs> Some films that People consider apartment horrors like Children in the Corn Revelations. Oh. <laughs> but I have seen one. <laughs> I just that's the first one that came to mind. That's not that's it's not like what's, that's not what's most known. Um, the apartment trilogy by uh, 
Gatsby. R- R- Roman Polanski, yeah. correct. Uh, Roman Polanski, he did The Tenet, um, Rosemary's Baby, and of course, Repulsion. Yeah. Those are the three that's considered in the Apartment trilogy. Um, but there's a few out there. I'm not overly familiar with the genre. It's not really a main genre. Uh, it's not even as popular as Road Horror, which you guys seen last week. Uh, but it is one that I, I love when I do see a film that does take place in an apartment. So uh, the two that I got here today, one old, one new. So first up we have Shivers from David Cronenberg. Of course, David Cronenberg, most famous for The Fly probably, but he's done a ton of horror. He's probably the most famous person to ever come out of Canada. Moods. Because Canada sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and <clears throat> I mean, shit, dude. He's done so many films like Rabbit, Dead Ringers, uh, Crash. Oddly enough, I've only seen about two Cronenberg films, I think. I might have seen more, but I can't really remember. I've seen Crash and I've seen The Fly, obviously. You guys familiar with Cronenberg's work at all? Just The Fly, that was it for me. Yeah. Carly? Only the fly. Okay, well, apparently he's. Oh, Video Drum, too. I've seen Video Drum, which happens to be my favorite Cronenberg. Video Drum is awesome. Uh, but this is Shivers here, and I'm pretty certain that this has to do with an apartment because it says Starling Towers is just another high rise apartment building until something terrible begins to go wrong. Seems apartment. Yeah. If you yeah. apartment. <laughs> and then the second film here is one that I got also from Umbrella, Uh, both of these are from Umbrella, and it is called The Sublet. And this one also seems to take place in an apartment. Um, So that's what we're going for. Uh, I don't know much about either of these films besides that. Uh, I know, I think Scream Factory released Shivers, did they? Not sure. Not sure. Maybe they didn't. They released, I know they released Dead, maybe it was Dead Ringers and Rabid. I'm not really sure. Anyway. That is the theme tonight, and we're going to start old and then end with new. That's how I like it. And uh, we're going to go shivers first. Um, do you see all these faggy-ass elephants everywhere? It's all nervous, yeah. All these gay-ass snow gloves everywhere. It's all. Yeah. It's all. Hi. Point in life, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I just walked into my grandma's house. There's crap oh, everywhere. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Right. This is not crap. <laughs> this is art. It is not. What do you think of my theme, Carly? It's cool. It's what do bad. you guys think of my theme? Cool. It's different. Yeah. 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 I, I haven't watched many, as I said, apartments, so excited. On episode two, we got flagged from Toho because apparently you can't show any footage of house without them getting mad. Um, so I'm. I don't know how much footage of the movie itself I'll actually show from now on um, but we'll try to get you know some basic stuff why does moods get away with taking videos of 50 movies probably movie? because they're all like shitty movies <laughs> 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 no I'm just kidding I don't know I don't know I, I think that it had something to do with those visual effects uh, because that's what got flagged like right <laughs> when that starts where the like face like peels away and there's like all that it might be easier uh, to um catch because it's automated it's not caught by a person it's caught by an automated system so maybe it recognizes those a little bit easier or something but hopefully hopefully the flag goes away so that you know we can continue to do this freely if not we'll put it on horophilia fuck it (laughs) shivers Come on, Carly, get with the program. <laughs> You're never going to be allowed to host these again. That's right, Bizarre. We need to go back to Matt's. Matt's volume sucks. <laughs> what do you mean? You never has it up enough. Hello, I'm Ronald Merrick, and I'm here to invite you aboard our Starliner. Hey, Ronald. Yes, it's true. Day-to-day living becomes a luxury cruise when you made your home at Starliner Town Department. Mom jeans. Barbara Steele's in this. So they have everything in one place. They have dentists and goddamn doctors in the Starline apartments. What do you think about that? This looks like shitty. 
<laughs> you're look at that, look at that. Why is it cheeky cam? You're dumb as fuck. <laughs> On footage. Yeah, no, I can't. What is this called? Shivers. Dude, it's Cronenberg. <laughs> it's fucking Cronenberg, dude. What year is this from? Like the 70s. Uh. Oh, I didn't even say what year it was from. I feel like my presentation was bad. It was. I didn't have any research time. Literally picked them while I was walking out the door. Mm. You gonna keep that in the video? You pressing up? It was either this or Terror Vision Video Dead. It reminds me of Doctor Loomis. Reminds me of Victor Salva. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> I was gonna say a Dr. Luna's joke, and then I think I just keep quiet. It's, it's underneath the <clears throat> I feel like that's gonna get me flagged. Yeah. <laughs> Child <laughs> pornography. <laughs> Where did you get these things at? Yeah. Chip boy. From like a website or? <clears throat> Scream Factory did a. They normally have a sale every summer called the Summer of Fear. And one thing that they do usually is they throw in a lot of um, bonus things. Like one year it was those, another year it was magnets. The next year it was like those again, but different different films. Alright, well, I know I'm getting that this summer. They're super, they're super limited though. Like, I, like if you didn't get them during that time... Yeah. Then they're hard to find. You might be able to find some on eBay still. I had two sets. I, well, I, I ordered, I think, three times during that summer of fear, so both of them. So I had like six sets of coasters. I gave one to her. Oh. I feel like definitely really gonna get flagged. <laughs> I can always put up like a thing. Yeah. <laughs> all but around. that requires yeah. editing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's too much work. <laughs> That hairy ass chest part. Aren't <laughs> mm. oh, you a huge fan of hair? No, I hate all hair. Oh, by the way, Especially, guys. No, it's ugly. You're ugly. I've been wanting to let you guys know that I've been trying to grow a beard here. It's no, coming in nice. Them. Don't update them. It's but, coming in nice. No, it's not. By October, it should be cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, uh. Why is this dude shirtless? <laughs> Gotta get in the mood. Yeah. That's the real question here. Why is he shirtless? <laughs> I feel bad for that chick. He just like strangle killed her. <laughs> Cronenberg is made. Oh, oh! I should have known. This is fucking Cronenberg. What's Cronenberg most known for? Uh, producing overrated remakes. What did he oh, produce? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, just uh, I was commenting on the fly. Oh, you don't like the fly? No, I, I was just joking. Oh. I like the fly. I just, I didn't know. <laughs> what, what's he doing? What? <clears throat> Body horror. Uh. That's kind of his thing. The flesh. Don't say that word. The flesh. flesh. That's a gross word. <laughs> Long live the flesh. Or something. There's like a quote. We use the flesh. That was a good movie. <laughs> It was a good movie. It sucked. It was about the flesh. I didn't like it that much. <laughs> I tried to I tried to build it up with positive as but I didn't like it that much. What do you have for snacks? I seen chips out here. Yeah, I also bought drink. I thought you put drink in. Honey BBQ. Oh yeah. Potato skinses. Mozzarella sticks. What the hell? I gotta try those. Pretzels, stacks. Cheap ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking my, my buys. The, the sales was like May of last year. So, um, I'm bring so unless they do it in the summer. I can't get this over. Let a G do it. Hold that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that was mine. That's such a weird taste. They taste like the breading of cheese sticks. 
These are not very good. Really? They're okay. I've never had them. You want the camera back? Uh huh. Oh no, you show off a lot of other facial things you got going on. Just the beard. <laughs> beard. <laughs> what does that mean? Beard. You know that's gonna be shaved in a week. Twenty dollars for it. So for what? For just for the signature, and I got the DVD for it. So I got both of them for twenty dollars, and I was like, yes. <laughs> so you went up to Reggie Bannister's table at this convention. He had Blade by Blade Apple Camp there. Yeah. And he just charged you $20 for that and the signature? Yeah, because he was talking to... I think it was because he didn't notice, so, like, I grabbed it. Oh, he thought I, you bought you brought your own. Yeah, yeah, because I, like, <laughs> I tore it off. I, like, tore it off. I wasn't going to say anything, though, so it's like, <laughs> you know. So he's over here ripping <laughs> off Reggie <laughs> Bannister. Hey, Reggie, if you're listening. <laughs> also, I've only seen five minutes of Wishmaster, so I also yeah, lied to you about that one. <laughs> oh... <laughs> I mean, we were just in the middle of a conversation. He's like, you've seen Wishmaster, right? I was like, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I saw the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even in the beginning. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. It's I, the I, I don't even remember it. It was like two years ago. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I got, I'll, I'll just watch this later. And I never did. Net, I don't even think they're on Netflix anymore. I so. wish I knew about that convention. <laughs> Yeah, I would have told you about it earlier. I just oh, I think he it. did know about it, actually. Who, me? I think his friend Carly told him about it. And then he was like, oh, I'm scheduled to be busy that day because I'm going to have a death in my um, family that Whoa. day. Darn. That ain't what happened. I'm picking up all these pieces. Oh, question. What is this movie about? Because I have lost track already. It's about, like, a parasite. That's infecting people in this high rise. Yeah, they were talking about it a little earlier when he was like, he gave him that half a pickle and he was like, it's used. <laughs> <laughs> One previous owner. <laughs> One previous owner to this classic 1974 dill. <laughs> <laughs> dill. Ah! <clears throat> What's up with these up the skirt shots? <laughs> yeah, this is one of them I didn't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Goodwill, Carly? No. I found yeah, I found a, a Cronenberg there the other day. Um, Dead Ringers. Why didn't you give it to me? No. I'm already giving you Night of the Dark Harvest or whatever. What? You mean Dark Night of the Scarecrow? No, I mean Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest, okay. You didn't give me that? What you do you didn't give me that? I... What do you mean? Why are you shaky cams? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> when? Never. Why do you tell lies? <laughs> that was All just trying to look cool on camera. You're not. Shit friend. Look at that dude's chest. Is that chest? Yep. It looks like a rug. Look at your face. <laughs> looks like your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's a I didn't even see that lump coming out. Down bottom? He's having a baby. Oh dude. Ugh. That's why the hair looks like a fake carpet. <laughs> it's like just stuck on. <laughs> yeah. Do things. It's in Zoom. Don't even get. I'm so aliened out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't want to watch him tonight. <laughs> Don't want to watch him ever. <laughs> Don't want to watch him ever. I'll just listen to you guys' episode before I came here. Oh yeah. What are you doing over there? I'm JP. <laughs> you gotta see my thumbnail, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> no, what the fuck? What, who wants to bet that a slug thing comes out of one of the drains? No. <laughs> I doubt it. 
<laughs> so when we go over Max, he goes top shelf, and when we go over your house, you get us the most generic. Listen, I'm ever. struggling. It was rent payday this this <laughs> month, but I had to scramble. Cause usually I just sit here with like nothing in my fridge, and I'm cool by myself. But I'm like, oh, I got guests coming over. I got I got to impress. Yeah, break out the good shit, the shysta. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> I also didn't feel like going to Walmart. <laughs> I could be buying food. Told ya. <laughs> it didn't come out of the... It, yeah, it didn't come out of the, the faucet. faucet. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping for that. <laughs> it looks like a peep. It does. Looks like my peep. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it looks like my baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go up. Well, we know where it's go going. Yep. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger, though. Mm. Not mine, that one. Why don't you turn that way? Oh! Uh. So, do you live close to Jeremy when you go back to Chicago? Uh, no, because Jeremy really doesn't live in Chicago anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy be like, <laughs> die hard Chicago, saying that he's like, like, I make, it makes me think he's like downtown Chicago. Like, he used to be. Like, <laughs> when he went to, when he went to, um, Columbia. What was it, Columbia that he went to? Uh, not Columbia. Uh, where do you go to school? Rich people school. Yeah, rich school. Yeah. Film school there. I, I've I've for, forgetting the name of it now. But I, I, when he went there, that that's downtown, but not anymore. So how far away from you does he live? Probably about forty. Uh, probably not too far. It's like an forty-five minutes north. Nighttime insects. The time is 5 26 a.m. Damn. This is Gerald Keyes with a media scope sunrise news ball. There is still no confirmation by Montreal City Police concerning alleged reports of a citywide wave of violent sexual assaults. Mute it. Oh no, it's a mute button. <laughs> <right now. laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's this thing. It's got the slash through the sound speaker. Oh, is it? <laughs> All right, Carly, you first. Wait. That was Shivers. Wait, let me get focused. That was Shivers. Thoughts on Shivers? Well, I mean, I thought the things, the parasites were pretty cool, pretty mm -hmm. gross. There was a couple parts that made me cringe and feel... Like that, like sharp feeling you get inside you when you feel like, like a dirty happy. whore. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I give it props for that. Um, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. All right. I'll go next. <clears throat> so, um. Basically, Shivers is about a apartment complex that has like dentists and doctors and all kind and like a <laughs> science research want. team and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's pretty cool. Like it has it has a lot of a lot of characters. That that's one thing that I noticed that it that it was like yeah. hopping around between a lot of apartment residents. And it's not really the best movie to watch with a group. Like you can yeah. tell that it's one that you have to pay attention to a little yeah. bit more to really understand the characters. We talked a lot during it. 
But, I mean, I paid attention to the movie. I understood what was going on and things, but it just was like, you know, we were cracking jokes and stuff, and, and this seems like a more serious movie that, that yeah. is probably best watched if you watch it by yourself, honestly. But that being said, I still I still enjoyed it. It had some cool gore shots and, and the slug things. The slug parasites were gross. The shivers. The shivers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And it had, like, this um, under undertones of like sexual stuff you know yeah. what i mean it seemed like the parasites caused everybody to be like sex maniacs too yeah. um i think they could have played that up a little bit more to make it a little bit different but i liked it i'll probably give it um pretty much and i will say this as a prefix to what i'm about to say in terms of my rating pretty much every single cronenberg film i've ever watched i've always liked more the second time so you're saying you're a hater I'm saying that Cronenberg makes movies that are hard to fully grasp on first watch because yeah. there's a lot of undertones to them and subtextual stuff that he's, you know, metaphorical things. Like, he's really good at that, and he's good at, like, hiding them right away. Um, pretty much, like, Cronenberg is, is a dude. Like, I didn't even like The Fly the first time I seen it. I love The Fly. But I've, I've come, you know, up on The Fly a lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's decent, but I can see that rating coming up. What say have you, guys? Uh, pretty much to reiterate what they just said, I, I really wasn't paying attention to the characters much uh, as we were bullshitting around, but um, for me, I love the gore. I love the, the, the subtext of like the eroticism with the, the shivers creatures or whatever. <laughs> um, got... Um, just really, uh, really enjoyed it. I, I, I definitely think, like you said, I, it, it'll go up my second watch. Uh, definitely one that I want to pick up. I'm going to give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Good right. solid watch. Yeah, I'm a little bit lower. I'm at like a 6.5. I, I love like goofy settings like that. Like it's just really weird to have all this crap in this one place. Like, uh, um, yeah, I, I like the effects and everything. Too. Some of them were a little cheesy. Yeah, some yeah. of them were a little cheap. But I, overall, I did like the effects, like the pulsating thing coming from the body and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I could have had a little bit more fun with the premise, you know. I, um, I don't know, I just would, uh, like you said, I wish, I wish it was like played up more. Yeah, yeah. So you said uh, 6.5? Yeah. Alright, cool. So that is David Cronenberg's Shivers, which I've been wanting to up, up my game on Cronenberg films a little bit, so uh, that's good to do. And uh, Apparently, this I didn't even mention this, but this was his uh, directorial debut. Yeah. Um, so that's that's really interesting, early Cronenberg here. All right, so a little update, guys. Turns out that my copy of The Sublet is actually a Region 4 copy. Mm. So it will not play in her PlayStation. Um, I didn't even think to check the DVD because... I don't know, most of my DVD players are actually region free for some reason. And I just figured I just figured that it would be I just figured that it would be region free. So we're gonna luckily I brought a backup plan. We're gonna do crawl space from nineteen eighty six instead. I believe this might have been an Empire Pictures film and I don't know much about it, but I do know that it is not the crawl space that is the T V movie from the seventies. Uh, this is the the other version, and uh, I actually have it on Screen Factory here, Carly. Uh, here it is on Screen Factory. Oh, nice. I don't really like this cover. So we'll check this movie out. I've never seen this before, Carly. You have seen it before, though. Yeah, I watched it at a friend's house a couple years ago. At whose house? Friends, a friend of mine. We Friends? found it on. What? Friends. A friend of mine. We <laughs> found it on Netflix, or not Netflix, like on demand. And we put it on, and we actually paid attention to it. Wait a minute, there's some bullshittery going on in this story. Why? You don't have friends. No! <laughs> no, I do. I'll call them and talk to them and be like, yeah, we were friends, right? Absolutely. So is this apartment horror or no? Yeah, he's like... Okay, good. Because I just read on the back of the case that it said apartment. Yeah, he's like in an apartment with these, and like Oops. other people live there too and he's like creepy. Alright cool. Let's do the damn thing. What? Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> There's no subtitles. Why would there not be subtitles on That's some bullshit. Scream Factory, you suck. Scream Factory. Do you not like subtitles? I I never pay attention to the movie if I'm <laughs> I just read the subtitles if I <laughs> I I don't mind them. It's just that I never get to actually watch the movie. The movie we would just watch, I kept thinking it was foreign because we had the subtitles <laughs> yeah. on and I was like, wait. <laughs> You know, what, you know what pissed me off is the, the one, I th somebody else had commented on this, I don't know if it was on your guys' podcast or what, but a Bunny the Killer thing, like half of that movie is in uh, a Finnish or whatever, the, the, and, um, and they, um, they, like, you, there's no subtitles for it, there's only like, hear, like for the hearing impaired, <laughs> so it has every little thing, it has like creak, or like, it like, the the music ascends and I'm like oh my god that was a swastika yeah rats what the fuck is the title opening there it is that literally just reminded me exactly of like evil bomb so I was like okay this makes sense Charles Band <laughs> Charlie Band David Schmoller. Schmol Schmol I know he did something before. Yeah. Klaus Kinski! Or as Jeremy would say, Klaus Kaskinski. <laughs> yeah. Crawl space. Oh, they're in a crawl space. I get it. <laughs> Talia. Carly, his makeup looks exactly like you do. <laughs> Well, I'm saying he looks like you and once makeup? he once he puts makeup on. No. Oh. There's Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Carly's lipstick is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she puts it on. Yeah. <laughs> Back when you used that hideous red kind. Stop. Uh, <laughs> did, did that one cut a little deep, huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> <Like> a sword. <laughs> Jeremy's having nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> He's Jewish. Say what you want about the Nazis. They had fucking style. Mm -hmm. Like, if swastikas didn't make you a piece of shit, I would totally rock a swastika. It's one of the coolest symbols ever invented. Well, it was used. To, it was a religious symbol before that. It was I like know. really. It was like a completely like peace, like non-violence. <laughs> ironically, oh, it's like not anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna do that with the cross. No. I just need to pick who I'm gonna commit genocide on. <laughs> and then well, I'll actually, <laughs> actually, they they beat you there. It's called the Crusades. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and the KKK. <laughs> They burn crosses. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I want it to be my symbol. Like, the Nazis have the swastika on their patch. Mm. You worship, do you think you're Hitler? Huh? What? I could be if I tried hard enough. No! <laughs> yeah, I mean... Tune it down! Turn that anyway. brainstorming off! <laughs> I just don't know which race is, like... Like, I, I think I should pick the race that had it the easiest. Because... Oh. Because, like, I couldn't do it to the blacks because they've had enough pain and suffering. <laughs> you gotta show them that no one's safe. <laughs> so you gotta attack the, like, most innocent. I'm thinking the whites, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I would do it to non war fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you say that my soul to take. Is one it's one of your favorites or it's your favorite? No, it's one of my favorites. It's not my favorite. Top five. And you like the originality of it? Not originality, but just creativity. Because uh, it's not. You original, mean like creating it... Freddy for the, his fourth inter iteration? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> the Ripper is like just another Freddy. Just another Freddy. Basically, um, uh, Bug is um, Alice from Part Four. I absolutely love that. No, I actually, I like, I knew I was going to like the movie when I started seeing the stills that were coming out for it back when 
it was being like pushed and it was like like that bridge with the fog and stuff I can't believe that movie doesn't get more love like it blows my mind that yeah. people think that it's a bad movie like I think it's I think it's one of Craven's like top 10 for sure for sure, yeah. for sure. I have it in my top yeah. ten. <laughs> <laughs> like, that movie, you would think people would talk about it like it's, you know, like, I guarantee you, back when, like, people will talk about it in 20 years Damn. having to talk about Craven's other films. I, I guarantee it'll get, get some cult status here soon. Like, it's shot well. You know what's weird? That movie was in 3D. Yeah. Which... I've never been able to find yeah. it on a 3D, like a Blu-ray They 3D. never released it no. 3D on home video. I wish I would have got to see it, because i seen Scream. That's why I say Wes Craven, when people were, like, talking shit on him, saying he's, like, overrated and stuff, I'm like, I'm like, this dude was directing movies in his 70s. Yeah. And he literally has a hit. Like, a not just a hit, like, a mega hit. In the 70s, 80s, yeah. 90s, and honestly, Scream 4 was really good, too. Yeah. Like, he was still, like, you look at some of the other directors, like, what's the last good movie Toby Hooper's done? Well, um, Salem's Lot. <laughs> what's, the, what's the last good movie Argeno's done? Uh, none of the 2000s, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's the last movie Carp last classic Carpenter directed? No classics. I I love all Carpenter's films though, but I can I know he hasn't directed like a really good movie in a long time. Probably since it's in the mouth of madness, honestly. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, like Craven was directing decent movies at the tail end of his career. Yeah. Of course he has bad movies in there. What? <laughs> I, I legitimately don't have a single Craven film under seven. <laughs> Dude, Hills Have Eyes Part 2. Absolutely. It's uh, a seven I, I actually like Hills Have Eyes Part 2. <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> out of <laughs> here! <laughs> Hills Have Eyes Part 2 is so shit. It's so fun, it's though. So fun. It's, like, it's like a random 80 slasher. That's all it is. No, that movie makes no sense. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't like the dog's flashback? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> What about, okay, what about Swamp Thing? Oh! Nine and a half out of I ten. Get the fuck out of here! I freaking love Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing sucks so much dick. Come on, man. What, he tears that car off and the, the car, the, 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 the roof just goes flying in flying the, air. the air? Come on, man, that's classic. The and the, scene? the battle scene at the end when they're hitting each other with wooden swords. I mean, that's Dude. just amazing. Oh. Uh, I, I, listen, I have Swamp Thing on Blu-ray. I've watched it a few times. <laughs> it's probably my least favorite Kraven. I think I, the only Kraven I don't like is Cursed. Uh, I like Cursed. Cursed is like fun. <laughs> okay, what about the uh, Invitation to Hell? I, I dug it. It was all right. It's a seven for me. It's like I don't. I'm not like huge on it, but it's this creative story, just like Craven. Five point five. Summer of Fear is a good TV one. Love Summer of Fear. That's coming to Blu-ray. Yes. What about Haven't Vampire in Brooklyn? Actually, I've seen that one. That's a seven and a half for me. It's a fun. And I like it movie. too. I think I gave it a seven. It's fun. I, I can't comment on Chiller because I have that shitty DVD release and I, I can't really see much on it. So. They, all the shitty, all the DVD releases. Yeah. Are, it's, I think it's public domain. Yeah, and I'm still waiting on somebody to do a good release so I can actually watch it. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it either. I've seen it. I watched the DVD of it and I was like, I couldn't really see it. We need to figure out how to get a hold of Fireworks Woman. Yeah. I I, I want to say at one point I remember it having a release and I don't can't find it anymore ever. Mm. Deadly blessing. Okay, uh, that is the most underrated horror film of all time. <laughs> what? I the see, hell? I see, I see, I see, we met George Romero. Yeah. I met Tom Savini. Everyone meets. Yeah, that's funny. He's met Tom you Savini. Can meet him by accident. That, 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 that is true. Does he? I wonder if he's ever at that studio. And he's yeah. always down yeah. there. Apparently. Is he? He like yeah. does movie nights with the like crew. His like special effects. Need people. to do that. <laughs> wonder if he just shows the prowler to him. Just like, what about yeah. Deadly Friend? 
Yeah, that's that's a seven. I haven't seen that one either. It's it's one that I really enjoy, but it's like there's not like a whole whole lot special about it. But I still I like all the characters are really likable, and dude, the exploding head scene is is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Who is that? Universal. Yeah, it's Universal. Well, is that is Rogue Pictures, but Universal I think distributed it, or I don't know if they helped produce it. All right, what do you think? I'm surprised I actually remembered that movie like I just watched it yesterday mm -hmm. from back when, which is rare because me and my friends usually don't be paying attention to movies while we watch them, but yeah, I think that's a pretty cool one. I mean, the dude's pretty creepy in it and just got that good like 80s feel to it. Um, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10 as well. Yeah? Yeah. So both movies are 7s for Carly. Yeah. What say have you? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I think we paid less attention to that one than the first one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 from what I followed, I like enjoyed, like it had some pretty cool uh, things happen in it and like, um, some pretty cool uh, kills and stuff like that, but I didn't um, I didn't really pay attention to any of the characters or anything, but right now I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. It has a really cool um, uh, like Empire Pictures feel to it and everything, so I... It, it actually, sorry to cut you off, but it actually almost feels like, and that's something that Empire, what, what year did this come out? 86? Yeah. Empire Pictures actually was backed by pa Paramount for a while Mm. So they actually would get like decent budgets and you can tell that some of their older movies feel like much more like a goddamn movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and some of their later stuff, like even by like 88, like Ghost Town and like those type of movies, you could tell that the, they were scaled back a little bit in terms of budget. Um, and then it went into the late 80s, early 90s with, with like... Uh, demonic toys and puppet master and stuff the budget is even lower but I think that this movie still even though it has that full moon empire vibe yeah it did feel a little bit more prestigious yeah agreed so what did uh would you say six, six yeah what about I, you yeah like you said we didn't really pay much attention to this but um, the parts I was watching I was it was actually pretty uh, fairly creepy movie yeah um, <laughs> There was some pretty uh, entertaining parts there towards the end, and um, some interesting like booby traps and stuff set up. Um, it's definitely one I want to revisit, honestly. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get like a six and a half for now. Yeah, um, I liked it quite a bit. There was there was some moments that we I went out there, got on. I was on the I had to get on the phone, and you know some moments that that I was. There's like a good five minutes where I didn't even notice what was happening on screen <laughs> when I was talking. But um, for the most part, I got the gist of the movie. Uh, I like the Nazi themes that are in the film, which I didn't know about. And um, Klaus Kinski, man, that dude is a weird guy. Mm -hmm. He's a weird guy. <laughs> and um, I think that he's, he's obviously a very entertaining actor. Uh, the last movie I seen him in was uh, Skitshoid. Which Scream Factory also put out with a double feature of X Ray. You guys ever see that? No. Um, I like X Ray a little bit more. Um, X Ray is like a slasher set in a hospital. It's pretty cool. Um, 80s. And, you know, I thought that this one was decent. I uh, probably do need to give it another watch to really grasp everything that happened in it, but I think I, I, think I got the point. Uh, I'm going to come in at a 7 out of 10. So. Ooh. What did I give Shivers? 7.5? 7 7.5, 7 yeah. 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 Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed movie night number four. Yeah. We already recorded four of these and only have one of them out. <laughs> 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 this, one will be, this one will be up in like three months. <laughs> yeah. So, um, where can they check out you guys' stuff? Um, we both have... Um, channels on YouTube with just our names, Andrew <laughs> Scheuer and Austin Scheuer. You can find us. Um, you can find both of us on Body Bags, uh, as he sa as JP said. 
And also, um, yeah, as he said, also you can check us out on um, on uh, the Horophilia Network for the Woodsboro Bros. Yeah, and uh, you can check out on iTunes too. He didn't say that, but yeah, yeah you can find it on iTunes. Just Woodsboro Bros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, definitely do that, guys. Give them a, a listen, a, a check out on YouTube or whatever. And, you know, one thing that we always like to do on 22 Shots, as well as Horophilia, as well as just the, the Facebook pages, we like to share the love. So um, we appreciate anybody who listens to us and checks out our friends' things because that, that means shit to us. And, you know, it, 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 it's I hate when people have that mentality of, like, where they want horror to be, like, hidden and, like, their thing. And it's like... No, let's make it as big as possible and and things like that. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Yesterday you literally told me that my only friends were your friends from online. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, that that's I, all your stuff. I said <laughs> that your friend, your only friends, are. <laughs> what? How did I word it? It was uh, awesome. It was something like sad, like that. <laughs> <laughs> your, my only friends are your online friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking uh, about spreading the love. <laughs> I'm yeah, not just online. Uh, I'm not just online anymore. <laughs> true, true. True. We did find but these people. Then again, they're not really your friends either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my place, damn it. <laughs> Everyone out. <laughs> um, but no, seriously. Uh, where where can they check you out at? We never um, give you any love. My YouTube channel is Carly. Three one seven, pretty basic, and then so like D Bouge seventy two. <laughs> Carly three one seven. So like yeah. the same so, thing. Don't think they're gonna go look up D Bouge sixty three <laughs> now. But um, and then I got that podcast with this dude, I guess, kind of. Where's episode ten? On the Horphilias. No, it's not existed yet. <laughs> I lost track. I suck. <laughs> I forget what number we even on. We're, we're on. Our next one that we release is episode 10. Next one we release? Yeah. Oh, it's... It's getting there. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. You're a fraud. Yeah. You're fake. <laughs> I am. I'm sorry. But check right. us out anyway. See you guys next time. Peace. Bye.